Hey guys, Steve Chase here. Gonna talk about how to convert sub-customers to projects. All right, so the first thing is, imagine you know about projects already. If you don't, uh, projects allow you to generate a, a profit and loss per allocated project, okay? So let's imagine though, that you've got um, a non-project you wanna bring in here. So for example, I'm gonna go to reports, custom report, and just show you a quick uh, report here called profit and loss by customer. All right, so if I open up this invoice here, we can see we've got an invoice for $7,000 and it's to the customer seven lucky stars, okay? And um, the other thing we've got going on here is we've got a couple of transactions here so we've got this um, purchase here of expenses and notice that we've got this end user licenses right here but the key is it has this customer project okay so we've got seven lucky stars here as the customer so the way this is going to work and we have to do a little manipulation of this particular customer here called seven lucky stars we need to make it a sub customer okay so we're going to need to get a little crafty here with with the actual uh conversion to make this a project how to do that okay so um the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think of a name so um seven lucky stars maybe seven lucky stars llc might be might be the name here. So let me just create a quick paint, uh, paint here, and just kind of, kind of talk about here. So this is our main customer here. Okay, so that is a customer, C for customer. And we've already got billing to them and we've got invoicing billing going on and purchase orders, all that linked to it. And we want this to be a project. Okay, so in order for this to equal a project, what we need to do is create a new customer up here. Give it the name like, Seven Lucky Stars LLC. The point is you can come up with whatever name you want and we're going to make this underneath of it come from here. So, so basically now we're gonna have an opportunity to leave everything exactly the same except create a seven lucky stars LLC which will serve as the parent customer and then this will now be considered the sub customer of that all right let's let's look at this in action step by step okay so step one I'm gonna go to my customer list and I'm going to create a new customer and the company name will just call it seven Lucky Stars LLC, all right? And the whole point of that is just to have a placeholder, okay? So we're gonna hit save. All right, so now I can see, here's my seven Lucky Stars, here's this, okay. I'm gonna open up seven Lucky Stars here. I can start to see all my Invoices. I don't see expenses or you know bills or POs to that, and that's typical because this is these are customers. I'm going to click Edit, and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to look at this button right here. It says Is Sub Customer. So I definitely need to make that a check mark. And when we do, we can make the parent customer Seven Lucky Stars LLC. And bill with parent is important that you do that. Okay, so hit save. All right, excellent. So the next step is how can I get that to be a project? So I go to projects. There's gonna be a dropdown. 
right here, convert from sub customer. So I'm going to click that, click on that, and I can see right here this option right here. Okay. And it's going to give us an option of what we're going to move. So we're going to move over one estimate, three invoices, and two payments. And so it's going to go, okay. And so here we, we're picking up on it, and we can make the uh, in progress if if I was done with the project, you know, maybe I'm moving a whole bunch and some are done, I could complete it, mark it complete, I should say. I'll leave it open in progress and I'm gonna click convert. Ready to convert, we're going to change one of your sub-customers to projects. This is a one-time conversion. Click OK or click continue. Let it do its magic here. Yes, and now I can start to see, here we go. So I'm gonna dig into it. I'm now gonna see under transactions, I'm gonna see, um, you know, perhaps I wanna just see the expenses applied to it. There's one right there. I could see some bills, I can sort by this, but this is awesome, I did it. So I can um, go in and click edit. I'll need to assign the start date. So first estimate was on 4-1. I'll just go in, manually put April 1st here. It's in progress, so no end date here. I might put a note that says converted from sub-customer. Possibly do that. Um, I can do that. Time activity, project reports, project profitability. And here we are. And then don't forget cash and accrual methods are going to come in from the accounting software model there. Awesome. So, hey guys, I hope this was super helpful to you. And you now know how to convert uh, customers to projects. Got to use the sub-customer trick to do that. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video.